How's it going everybody? It's Rasa Pon here with episode 8 of Bucket Coding Tutorials and in this episode I am going to show you how to create plugin files which are separate from the uh, traditional config.yml that comes with the uh, bucket slash spigot API. So uh, this could be useful for storing player data, how much uh, points a player has, player stats, and for other information such as world stats and stuff like that because uh, you usually wouldn't store that stuff in uh, the config.yml it's a config for a reason uh, it's, um, it's not meant to store data like that so uh, let's start off this is your traditional bucket setup obviously and if you have if you plan on having a bunch of files then uh, what I would do is create uh, a package just named files and create an abstract file and from this abstract file we can extend it from uh, other other classes so we wouldn't have to uh, rewrite the same code over again so for this I'm going to take an instance of my main class uh, import that uh, make a constructor uh, abstract file make it take main And it also needs to take in the string, which is the file name. And I believe that's it. So we we'll to create more variables for file. Uh, import that from Java IO, private uh, file configuration, and just name that configuration. Or just name it config for short. Um, we have that main equals main just set the variable real quick okay so now um, we want to uh, initialize the file part so this dot file equals new file um, name get the data folder and then file name and if the data folder doesn't exist uh, we are going to get an error an error so uh, before you try creating any files, you have to include this code. If uh, get data folder and just put this right there. So make it not. If it doesn't exist, then we want to um, uh, create it. So make directories. Okay. And. Uh, right now we just specify we just specified the file. We don't even know if it exists or not. So uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't exist, uh, then we want to create it obviously, and that's going to have to go in a try and catch because it can throw an I/O exception. That is not an I/O exception. <laughs> exception. There you go. You just make it print the stack trace, and then after you make sure the file exists, then you initialize the configuration. So YML configuration, uh, load configuration file. Okay, and just um, make another method to save because uh, normally when you're accessing um, the file and reading and writing from it, uh, that stuff is just stored in memory. You don't actually save the changes to disk uh, until you disable the plugin. Uh, or at least if that's how you want it. Some people uh, usually save it on a timer like every three minutes or so so that if the server crashes or something then the data isn't lost. That's for our big servers and stuff but for the sake of this tutorial we're just gonna have it on disable. Uh, okay and then it's, this is gonna have to go on a try and catch as well. Catch audio exception just make it print stack trace and we're gonna do config save to file okay okay now we have our abstract file now let's say we want to create um, I don't know just a player data player data file player, player data file and just make it extend abstract file public 
slider down. Now I have to make it take in the main class, obviously. And also, let's change this to uh, protected so that I can access it from here. Um, now I have to call the super constructor name and just put in the file name right here. Uh, make sure to include the extension. Uh, for this tutorial, it has to be YML because that's how it's set up, YML configuration um, and stuff like that. Uh, I believe Bucket has support for JSON. Uh, I'm not sure about that though, but I do know it's included in the jar. I just don't know how to implement that. Okay, and so let's say we have our player data player data file. I don't know why I keep saying data. <laughs> player data file. Alright, and it, it should create and stuff. Okay, oh, first we gotta in uh, initialize it. Uh, player data. Uh, player data. Make sure to initialize all your classes after calling this block of code. Uh, this dot player data equals new player data like this. And then player data save. Okay, so now uh, as you can see, uh, I don't have anything right here, but once I export this and uh, reload the plugin, I should get that player data player data file. Dang, why do I keep saying that? Tutorial, see? Player data file. Uh, obviously it has nothing in it. What is this? Cancel. Okay. Uh, obviously if we want to add something to it, then we can just create methods like, uh, I don't know, public void new player. Player, player. Um, import that, and we can just say, uh, let's see, make that protected as well. Uh, protected means it can only be accessed by its children classes. By the way, so if I didn't extend uh, abstract file, then uh, I wouldn't be able to access the protected field. Uh, okay. Anyway, so config just say set string pad player dot get u u i. Oh yeah, this is also uh, a very important uh, technique for coding because since name changes are possible now, you want to save the player's u uh, u uh, i d so that. Uh, it stays consistent because it doesn't change unless your server is in offline mode and yeah so I'll just config that set player that get UUID just I don't know test I guess okay and I'll just make it to when the player joins so I'll make it implement listener um, Event handler public void on join. Uh, that's not parentheses anyway. Um, e. Oh, uh, let's see. Player data new player e. Get player. Okay, so it should create this. Um, hopefully. And let's see if I'm missing something. Oh yeah, just run that, I guess. Uh, if I'm not missing, if this works correctly, I have to relog and such, and it'll create it. But I think I'll have to reload. Uh, I'm not sure though. Yeah, I have to reload the server. Hmm. That's weird. That's okay, so after a couple of minutes of being a total noob, I just realized that I need to register the listener. 
So bucket uh, get plugin manager uh, register events this this uh, and I suppose we don't need this actually. Okay, reload. Uh, rejoin. Okay, let's reopen this. Oh yeah, I need to reload. Oh, reload as I guess. And see, this is my UUID, and it says test. Whew. <laughs> I've been doing this for two years now, and that still gets me. <laughs> so yeah, be very careful. Uh, and uh, of course, if I want to get a value, uh, just do config get, and then just the path and stuff. You know, very very basic. Um, so yeah, uh, that was episode eight, how to create uh, plugin files. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.